from Encrypto Astrology Group CAG member webinar with William Stick Evers. So keep in mind, right, when you look at this, Bitcoin is here. It took Amazon.com, which is assessed right now at 1.67 trillion, 24 years to reach 1 trillion in market value. It took Google, it took Google, which is just above Bitcoin right now, 22 years to reach 1 trillion in market value. It took Apple 42 years to reach 1 trillion in market value. And it took Microsoft 44 years. Bitcoin only took 12 years. So Bitcoin took 12 years. Why? Because it's growing at an exponential pace, right? It even surpassed the great Berkshire Hathaway. Even Berkshire Hathaway, which was assessed to be like Warren Buffett. We'll talk about that in a moment. So keep that in mind. It blew past that very quickly. So everything goes through st three stages of truth. This is, this is outside of astrology, but this is true in history nonetheless. And again, it's particularly true if you deal with exponential growth, not linear. When you think in linear ways, yes, what is true today will be true tomorrow. But when, you, when you're operating intuitively, thinking exponentially, then you realize that that axiom does not hold and that everything goes through three stages of truth. All truth passes through three stages. First, it's ridiculed. Second, it's violently opposed. Third, it's accepted as being self-evident. And this is a quote by Arthur Schopenhauer. So let's talk about the period of stage one, ridicule, 2009 to 2016. Warren Buffett, the investor and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, stated that Bitcoin was a worthless delusion and rat poison squared. Quote, in terms of cryptocurrencies generally, I can say almost with certainty that they will come to a bad ending. If I could buy a five-year put on every one of those cryptocurrencies, I'd be glad to do it, but I would never short a dime's worth. So, you know, essentially you could see here that there was massive ridicule. This is, there's many, many, many other examples of ridicule, right? Jamie Dimon said Bitcoin is, um, of JP Morgan Chase said Bitcoin's a Ponzi scheme. Right. So you see this period, 2009, 2016. Then you see stage two emerge. Violent opposition, 2017. China bans crypto exchanges. Other countries like India, for instance, make Bitcoin illegal. So that's 2017. So from like 2017, 2018, 2019, there's movements. You know, just recently in 2020, the UK, certain banks in the UK would not allow you to sell your Bitcoin and like if you wanted to cash out your Bitcoin, for instance, and you had HSBC Bank in London or Britain, you cannot, they will not accept that. They will not convert that money from the exchange and accept it into the checking or banking account. So um, you're seeing even resistance, right, all the way up until 2020. Then stage three acceptance, 2021, Tesla buys 1.5 billion in Bitcoin, plans to accept it as payment. The world's richest man, the world's richest man, which is on the verge of becoming the richest country in the world by the end of 2021, accepts Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is clearly moving into uh, year one as a year one institutional mainstream adoption, especially when Tesla on February 8th announced that they bought $1.5 billion in Bitcoin. The moment was the starting gunshot of the mainstream race into Bitcoin. Now, what's the astrology got to do with this? The astrology has very much to do with this because this has very much to do with the transiting Pluto, transiting Pluto making a direct hit onto the Bitcoin Pluto. So let me show you what, the, what I mean. Transiting Pluto, conjuncting Jupiter. Transiting Pluto, conjuncting the native Bitcoin Jupiter. Now, what I show here is the price. As Pluto was coming closer and closer to Jupiter, as we can see here, the price of Bitcoin started shooting up, shooting up. You can see here, this is the conjunction itself. So as we get closer to the conjunction, the price kept shooting up. Now, Jupiter, Pluto, and you could see the wave function, 2021, there you go. It's about the time when, this is the time Tesla invested 1.5 trillion and accepted a, a Bitcoin into his uh, company and accepted as a form of payment and a, can, and a uh, store of value. So look at this. So now this is the wave function 
And Jupiter to Pluto implies institutional investing, institutional investing, capital finance, um, asset management, macro asset transfer management, investing, wealth creation, all of that's Jupiter Pluto. So the wealth effect, the wealth effect of Jupiter Pluto ha- is very much connected with this. And that only implies, right, as we go deeper into 2021, 2022, 2023, more and more institutional investing will take off. So as we could see, what happened back here, uh, MicroStrategy sold $650 million worth of bonds to purchase Bitcoin, right? That happened just before the wave function. That happened in December, just as the wave function was getting started. What soon followed was crypto demand is largely shifting from individuals to institutions, where you see online payment transfer, transfer giants such as PayPal benefiting directly from cryptocurrencies. So um, we see here 169-year-old ma- uh, mass mutual investment, right? Mass invest 100 million in Bitcoin. So Massachusetts Mutual Life Insurance Company purchased 100 million in Bitcoin for its general investment fund, the latest mainstream firm to dabble in digital assets. Square's major Bitcoin buy puts 1% of total assets worth 50 million in Bitcoin. The company believes that cryptocurrency is an instrument of economic empowerment and provides a way for the world to participate in a global monetary system. So these are just recent developments. These are not things that happened last year. This is all happened from December onward. Morgan Stanley to bid 440 million stake in South Korea's top Bitcoin exchange. So, uh, Morgan Stanley released a report, the case for cryptocurrency as an investable asset in a diversified portfolio. Bitcoin is inevitable. And now they're um, planning to, Bitcoin has matured, according to this Morgan Stanley report, as an investable global asset class. And it's actually recommending its clients to invest in Bitcoin as a way to diversify their portfolio, urging them to keep their exposure to 2.5%, which I happen to think is low, but we'll get into that later. Another big thing, 40% of Goldman Sachs clients already have exposure to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is now too important to ignore, Deutsche Bank says. So Bitcoin's market capitalization of $1 trillion and potential for continued growth had made the cryptocurrency too important to ignore. So big players who buy and sell Bitcoins have considerable market moving power. So Deutsche Bank plans to develop and fully integrate custody platform for institutional clients and their digital assets. This was just recently revealed. Watch the full presentation of this webinar in the Crypto Astrology Group membership at gta.williamstickevers.com or click the link in the description.